Wait, so you end up at UNC. I got a quick question. Like, um, out of Oak Hill, you obviously went to UNC. It was awesome. But now you have the G League stuff, which, like, Jalen Green's doing it, Kai Soto, Isaiah Todd, a bunch of other top young kids. Would you have, like, if you put yourself in their shoes, like, where would you have been at? You think you, think you would have done the G League stuff? Uh, like, honestly, no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, don't I, I have much respect to the kids who are doing that right now. Just they're trying something new. But I, I don't think that me personally, that would have been the move for me. So, I mean, I think even, I'd probably go overseas before I did that, honestly. Just because yeah. you're probably going to make oh, better money overseas. And the G League is just like, I don't, like, what exactly are they doing with the G League? Is that, is that a team that they have or are they playing against other, like, that they're playing against other G League teams? I don't, I don't get it. I don't fully get the grasp of concept. Yeah, it's a bit not, weird. They don't have it all settled, it sounds like. It's like, they, I think they're going to end up playing 10 or 12 games eventually, but it's kind of, like, more scrimmagey. Like, I don't think they're ever going to play a super serious game like that. I think it's mostly training and scrimmaging. Which I think they're trying to protect them. But yo, those G League dudes are like dudes think the G League is like those G League dudes can play, bro. Those is grown men fighting for a meal on their plate. Those dudes can play, bro. There are some there's some dudes in the G League that can really go. So I mean just like you can't like don't take that lightly, man. It's not gonna be like I know people might think it's a walk in the park and no, those dudes can play. Those two dudes can really hoop. Those, those, can are, those are like, those are right on the cusp of NBA players. Every right day. on the cusp. You're going to have a few dudes here and there who aren't that good, but like, those, them G League dudes can play, bro. Those are, those are NBA players. I'm like, for real. Oh, yeah. I, I, I do like that, you know, that you said if you had to do it and, you know, we're forced between kind of like overseas G League, you would go overseas. I like the Raul Lamelo takes and going in the NBL. The NBL in Australia, super, super talented league. Guys who, you know, you got like uh, Travis Trice, who's averaging like 35 plus, he played at, uh, you know, Michigan State. He was a dog there. You have high level guys, but at the same time, you know, you don't run that, you know, risk of, oh, he went to the this G League thing and might not have panned out. You're really yeah. going against high level competition and you're not expected to do a whole lot. I mean, there's guys who came over from the NBL only averaging like, you know, single digits, but that'll translate because now they have professional, actual professional experience right into the NBA. I like yeah, that. Yeah, nah. I also like, my thing is like, after being in college for a year, like, it's a different ball game. It's a, it's a different ball game than the NBA. It's what's more team oriented. A yeah. lot of, gonna see some zone up in there. Like, it's a, it's a different game. And that's the, the benefit going overseas. You, you, you're playing pro style basketball. Which I, I, I personally, I like better. I just, I feel that my games fit more for the pro style, so. Tom was saying, look, I know he was tough at Oak Hill and I know Oak Hill was crazy, but uh, if they would have <laughs> played Spire, Spire would have won easy. Whoa, we would have won, whoa. I, hey. I did not say hey. that. I did not That's say criminal. that. But, but I think it'd be a very close game, okay? I what think that you had one of the best teams in the country, but I think Rocket Watch is the difference. I think Rocket Watch put, puts uh, Whoa, Spire you a little bit ahead of him. We didn't have Cam Thomas. Yeah, but he's a junior that year, right? What does that mean? That dude averaged like, uh, what, was, He wasn't killing it like he killed it his senior year. His senior year, he averaged like 30 a game. He was insane. He averaged 27, maybe because we had a, we had a little probably a more talented team that year. So he couldn't get as many, he didn't average as many points. He was getting buckets. We can go position by position. All right, so you and Lamelo, we cancel out, right? I can, all right, cancel that out. Is that Cam fair? Rocket. I think Cam Rocket cancel each other out. What? Rocket had like 60 in one game. Rocket's at Michigan State. Where's Cam going? Playing LSU. LSU. Prep schedule. Had, like, Cam wasn't a five-star. Cam was a five-star, too. All right. I think it's pretty even across the board. And, I, and yo, I mess with Rocket. Rock, I mess with Rocket heavy. Rocket's oh, dumb ass, but I, I, I play with Rocket on USA Basketball, and I play with Cam at Oak Hill. Them dudes can both, they're both scorers. They will score that during the high clip. Who is your fourth dude after Kofi? So it's like you, Kofi, Cam, who's the fourth dude? Christian Brown who goes to Georgia now. He's really good. Him and Myron Gardner are both pretty even, actually, I think. That's also, and then Kofi and Isaiah Jackson. I think Kofi's taking Isaiah Jackson just because he's just way stronger and bigger than him. What about coaching? You got Jermaine. Uh, for you got Lamella. Steve, the GOAT. The nah, GOAT. I know, you got the GOAT coach. The GOAT. The GOAT coach. That's I the, love Jermaine. He is the best. That's a hell of a game but... right there. That's a hell of a game right there. Hey, look, even Spencer just commented, Christian Brown, very tough. He knows what's up. Nah, that's a good game. Up. I wish we got it. I do wish we got it. If you had Javias, it's I wish we got that game, too. That would have been, that would have, the, public, the, the media, the publicity would have been. It would have been on ESPN. But listen, Cole, you're giving, you're giving, you're giving a non-prep way too much, like, credit. I know they got LaMelo. I know they got Rockets. Both dudes in their own respects that are tough. 
but uh, you are talking about Oak Hill right now. You guys are winning that game by 20 plus. Hey, Jordan, I love that confidence. Level. That's what I truly think. I mean, look, I never think that any team's going to beat us, so. But no, nah, you got you to give respect for respect is due. No, no doubt. And I respect those those two players, and I know they had some good players on that team. But look, Oak Hill is a prep. They just produce racehorses. I mean, they're just like, like get them as high as we can get them when it comes to go to Duke, North Carolina, this, that. You don't compete with that kind of, like, talent level unless you're at another one, like Huntington Prep. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones that, like, La Lu. Mount Bird. Mount Bird. You, I mean, come on. This is You're a bugging, Jordan. You're bugging. Yo! Shit, Four bro. super high Division One players on that team. Like, it's not that big of a difference. Like, I get I get you saying the schedule and stuff was tougher. Um, hey. No, I ain't gonna lie. Our schedule wasn't all that. We had like some some dud games in there. Like, yeah, you got games you won by a thousand. We had to play a lot of games, so yeah. some of the games had to be dud games. Yeah. Yo, his, your my favorite Oak Hill game was the other team didn't show and they scrimmaged each other. <laughs> like they literally, it was so competitive because they're both like their ten is so good. It was amazing. Yo, that game was mad fun. That game was mad fun. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. we didn't really take it wasn't taken it seriously. It was kind of like no, not at all. Off. But it was like nah, you had Derek Jones just going insane because he's just like a straight. Your Derek Jones is straight dunker. Yeah, my son Derek. Um, that that's a freak. I, I gotta ask, like. You guys obviously didn't play. Have you and Lamel ever been in the same gym playing against each other? Like going, like have you ever? No, had a we, ain't, I, I, we ain't never really met in person. We we just like we're just like mad cool through like social media. We've never met in person. I've never even seen him. We just got new cream hoodie. Don't just cream me, my boy. I'm trying to tell you. You better click these videos right here and subscribe. Oh yeah, and click the link so you can cop some new gear and stop playing.